After several stunning strikes by various sectors and several riots that has caused so much economic woes, France has decided to bend the kneel to China. Morris has quickly rushed to China to beg for economic help and deals that will enable more French brands enter into the China market and also allow lift on certain restrictions previously placed by China on European countries after Euro ganged up to slap sanction on China. The question everyone is asking is, why will France run to China to beg? Why should France betray Western alliance to allow China dictate what will happen to its trade agreement? Please stay with us to the end to find out. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. In recent developments, French Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs, Catherine Colonna's visit to China, has marked a significant moment in the evolving dynamics of international relations, particularly between France, China, and the European Union. This visit comes at a time when global geopolitics is increasingly complex, with nations navigating through a landscape marked by strategic alliances, economic interdependencies, and shifting power balances. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. Colana's two-day visit, beginning on a Thursday, was not just a routine diplomatic engagement, but rather a strategic move signaling France's intent to foster deeper ties with China. The highlight of her visit was the sixth meeting of the China-France high-level dialogue mechanism on people-to-people -people exchanges with Chinese top diplomat Wang Yi. This mechanism serves as a cornerstone for advancing mutual understanding and cooperation between the two countries. The timing of this visit is crucial as it precedes the 60th anniversary of the establishment of China-France diplomatic ties in 2024. This anniversary offers a unique opportunity for both nations to reflect on their past interactions and chart a course for future collaboration. During her meeting with Chinese Premier Lai Kuang, Kalana reaffirmed France's commitment to dialogue a sentiment echoed by Premier Lai, who underscored the positive trend of China-French cooperation on all fronts. This dialogue is indicative of the broader trend of nations seeking to balance their geopolitical and economic interests in a multipolar world. The meetings between Kelowna and Chinese officials covered a range of topics, from global challenges like climate change and biodiversity to more specific bilateral concerns. Discussion highlighted the role of China and France as permanent members of the UN Security Council and their shared global responsibilities. This aspect of their relationship underscores the importance of major powers in shaping global responses to pressing issues. Furthermore, the announcement of China's 15-day visa-free policy for French citizens, alongside other AUSU countries like Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, and Spain, is a significant gesture. Not only facilitates people, to people exchanges, but also can be seen as a strategic move to enhance bilateral relations and potentially influence EUI policies towards China. Blana's visit also included discussions on reviving flights between China and France to pre-epidemic levels, reflecting the desire to return to normalcy in the post-pandemic era. The launch of the China-France Carbon Neutrality Center in Beijing is another notable outcome of this visit, showcasing the commitment of both nations to address global environmental challenges collaboratively. The visit of the French minister to China, thus, can be interpreted as a strategic maneuver by France to position itself as a key player in the evolving global order. By strengthening ties with China, Timlance not only enhances its own strategic and economic interest, but also potentially influences the broader EU approach towards China. This is particularly relevant in the context of the current state of China, EU relations, which have been marked by a mix of cooperation and competition as well as differing viewpoints on several key issues. Unless we delve deeper into the implications of this visit and the evolving France-China-EU triangle, it becomes clear that the dynamics of international relations are in a state of flux, with nations continuously adjusting their strategies to navigate the complex global landscape. The France-China engagement is a microcosm of these broader shifts, reflecting the ongoing recalibration of alliances and partnerships in response to changing global realities. The strategic coordination between France and China, as emphasized by Chinese scholar Song Luzeng, points to a mutual recognition of the importance of a diversified foreign policy that does not overly rely on any single nation. This approach is not only pragmatic in terms of maximizing strategic interest, 
but also reflective of a changing world order where multipolarity and multilateralism are becoming increasingly prominent. As we continue to explore the nuances of this significant diplomatic engagement and its broader implications, it is essential to consider the complex interplay of national interests, global responsibilities, and the pursuit of a stable and prosperous international order. France's outreach to China in this context is not merely a bilateral affair, but a reflection of broader strategic calculations that could shape the future trajectory of international relations. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. This examination of the France-China diplomatic engagement is not just about analyzing a series of meetings or policy announcements. It is about understanding the shifting sands of global politics, where traditional alliances are being re-evaluated, new partnerships are being formed, nations are increasingly seeking to balance their own interests with broader global responsibilities. In this evolving landscape, the France-China dynamic offers valuable insights into how countries are navigating these changes and what it means for the future of international relations. It's crucial to delve into the specific areas of cooperation and points of contention that define the France-China relationship and, by extension, influence China-EU interactions. We must also consider the broader implications of this engagement for global geopolitics, particularly in the context of existing tensions and emerging challenges. This analysis will provide a more comprehensive understanding of the current state of international affairs and the potential pathways for future diplomatic developments. We delve further into the intricacies of the France-China relationship and its implications for the EU. It's essential to understand the broader geopolitical context in which this engagement is taking place. The world is witnessing a realignment of global powers, with China emerging as a central figure in international politics. This shift has significant implications for Europe, traditionally aligned more closely with the United States, but now finding itself navigating a complex relationship with a rising China. France's approach to China is strategic and multifaceted, balancing its own national interests with those of the EUA. As one of the leading economies in the EUI, EU France's foreign policy decisions, especially those regarding China, hold considerable weight within the Union. This balancing act is not straightforward, given the diverse perspectives within the AU on how best to engage with China. France's decision to deepen ties with China can be seen as part of a broader strategy to maintain its influence in global affairs by engaging with China. France positions itself as a key player in shaping the EAU's approach to China, potentially advocating for a more balanced and pragmatic policy. This is particularly relevant in the context of the increasing US-China rivalry, where European nations are often caught in the middle, pressured to choose sides. More on China's perspective, strengthening ties with individual AUA countries like France serves multiple purposes. It allows China to gain a foothold in Europe, potentially influencing EUIPOA policies in its favor. Additionally, by engaging with key EU members, China can work towards breaking the consensus within the Union that might be unfavorable to its interests. This strategy is evident in China's comprehensive engagement with France encompassing economic, cultural, and technological aspects. One China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRR, is another critical context within which this relationship evolves. France's participation or support in bribe projects can lend credibility to the initiative and encourage broader European engagement, something China is keen to achieve. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. Economically, the France-China partnership is of significant importance to both nations. Mind sees China as a vital market for its products and services, while China views France as a key player in technology, luxury goods, and agriculture. However, this economic engagement is not without challenges. The U.S. less scrutiny of Chinese investments and concerns about market access and intellectual property rights complicate the relationship. The recent visa-free policy announcement by China for French citizens is a strategic move to enhance people to people exchanges and can be seen as an attempt to create a favorable public opinion in France towards China. Additionally, the focus on cooperation in areas like aviation, aerospace, green technologies, and artificial intelligence during Kalana's visit indicates the broad spectrum of collaboration that both countries are exploring. The France-China engagement has broader implications for EU-China relations. While France may seek to lead the EUI, you towards a more pragmatic approach to China, there are divergent views within the Union about the best way to manage this relationship. Some member states are wary of China's growing global influence and are cautious about deepening ties without addressing issues like human rights and fair trade practices. 
the global stage, France and China, as permanent members of the UN Security Council, share responsibilities in addressing international challenges like climate change, biodiversity loss, and regional conflicts. Their cooperation in these areas, as emphasized during Kalana's visit, is crucial for global governance and for maintaining international peace and stability. The France-China engagement is a nuanced and multifaceted aspect of international relations. It reflects the complexities of the current global order, where countries are increasingly seeking to diversify their alliances and partnerships. For France, this means balancing its role within the AU with its national interest, while for China, it involves strategically expanding its global influence. The future of this relationship will depend on how both countries navigate these dynamics and the broader geopolitical landscape. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video, and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.